Hello students, today I am here with the new video of chapter number 2 that is form of business organization and today's topic is cooperative society. As I earlier told you in my previous video, we have 5 types of forms of business organization that is sole proprietorship, joint Hindu family business, partnership and today we will discuss fourth type of form of business organization that is cooperative society. First we will learn what is the meaning of cooperative society. Its meaning is cooperative society is a voluntary association of person who join together with the motive of welfare of the members. They associate to protect the possible exploitation of the members from middle. It means to say, cooperative society is a voluntary association of person because nobody is forcing to a person to join the cooperative society. They join the cooperative society by his or her own desire. Thus, cooperative society is a voluntary association of person and cooperative society always works for the welfare of its members only, not for outsiders. Cooperative society always protect its members from the middlemen because in a, in a business various type of middlemen are involved like wholesaler, manufacturer, retailer. They always exploit the rights of the members of the cooperative society and the main advantage or the main objective of the property society is to protect its members from the middlemen. Now we will discuss feature of the property society. First feature is voluntary association. Voluntary association means to say the membership of the property society is a voluntary. It means, as I earlier told you, nobody is forcing to a person to join the property society. Every person is joining the property society by his own and own desire. Thus, property society is a voluntary association of person. A person is free to join a property society and they can leave the property society anytime. It means membership is open to all irrespective of their religion, caste and gender etc. It means anybody can join the cooperative society. It is open for all the religion, caste and gender also. Second feature of the cooperative society is legal status. It means registration of the cooperative society is compulsory that this accord a separate identity the society which is distinct from its members. It means to say registration is compulsory for the cooperative society. Without having registration, we can't run cooperative society. It means its existence does not affect by the coming and going of the members. It means members may come, members may go, but cooperative society business must go. It means the society can enter into contract and hold property in its name and be sued by the others. Third feature is limited liability. The liability of the cooperative society, the liability of the member of the cooperative society is limited to the extent of the amount contributed by them as capital. It means a person is liable for that amount only which is contributed by them. A person or member is not liable for the total loss of the cooperative society. Now, fourth feature of the cooperative society that is control. In a cooperative society, an electing managing committee will take decision. But my question is, who elects the members? Who elects the managing director? Who elects the managing committee? All the members of the cooperative society elect the managing director and make managing committee. Then managing committee takes the decision of the cooperative society on the behalf of the members. 
Now, fifth feature of the cooperative society is service model. It means the, co the cooperative society emphasis on the value of the mutual health and welfare. It means the main objective of the cooperative society is to provide service to of its members. They always established for the mutual health and the welfare of the society. If any surplus is generated as a result of its operation, it is distributed among all the members as a dividend. Now we will discuss some merits of the cooperative society. So first merit will be equality in the voting right. It means the principle of one man, one vote govern the cooperative society irrespective of amount of capital contributed by the members. It means in the cooperative society, every person has the voting right. Whether he contributed rupee, contributed rupees one or whether he contributed rupees one lakh, it doesn't matter. But every person has a voting right in the board meeting of the cooperative society. Thus, there is equality in the voting right. Second is limited capital, limited liability. It means the liability of the member of the cooperative society is limited to the extent of their capital contribution. Personal assets of the members are therefore safe from being used to repay business debt. It means the liability of the member of the cooperative society is limited to the extent of the extent of the amount which is contributed by them, not for the total loss of the cooperative society. To bear the total loss of the cooperative society, the personal assets of the member does not use to repay the business debt. Next, merit of the cooperative society is stable existence. A stable existence means to say the coming and going of the member does not affect the existence of the company or cooperative society. Death, bankruptcy or insanity of the members do not affect. The continuity of the cooperative society, a society therefore operates unaffected by any change in the membership. Now, fifth merit of the cooperative society is economy in operation. The members generally offer honorary service to their society as a focus is on elimination of middlemen and this help in reducing cost. It means all the members of the cooperative society always do fair services or honest services to the society. They never misuse the resources of the cooperative society. They do hard work for the cooperative society. For what? To eliminate the middlemen. And to eliminate the middlemen, they always keep their cost very low. The customer or product themselves are members of the cooperative society. It means members are the owner of the cooperative society and members are the customer of the cooperative society. Thus, there is no chance of bad debts. Now, next is support from the government. It means to say, cooperative society always get some financial support from the government in the form of low taxes, subsidies, low interest rates on loan. Next is easy formation. It means the cooperative society can be started with a minimum of 10 members. It means to form a cooperative society, we require 10 minimum 10 adult members. The registration process is very simple. It requires very few legal formalities. Its formation is governed by the provision of the Cooperative Society Act 1912. To form a cooperative society, we have to follow the rules and regulation which is mentioned in the Cooperative Society Act 1912. Now we will discuss demerits of the cooperative society. Demerits are first demerit is limited sources. Limited sources means to say in cooperative society we have limited sources. Limited sources means resources of the cooperative society consist of a capital contribution of the members with limited means. It means in the cooperative society all the members of the cooperative society contribute capital. Thus, there is 
lack of capital the low rate of dividend offered on investment also act as a detriment in attracting membership in more capital from the members it means jo amount members property society mein invest karte hain us par unko low rate se dividend milta hai इसीलिए वो अट्रैक्ट नहीं होते कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी में इन्वेस्ट करने के लिए और इसी वजह से उसमें हमेशा लैक ऑफ कैपिटल होती नेक्स्ट फीचर इज लैक ऑफ सेक्रेसी लैक ऑफ सेक्रेसी मींस एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ ओपन डिस्कशन इन द मीटिंग ऑफ द मेंबर्स एज वेल एज डिस्क्लोजर ऑब्लिगेशन एज पर द सोसाइटी एक्ट इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू मेंटेन सेक्रेसी अबाउट द ऑपरेशन ऑफ अ कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी इट मीन्स टू से एवरी कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी is bound to discuss all the major problem of the cooperative society among the members they disclose each and every problem with all the members and cooperative society is also bound to publish its financial information or to share its financial information with all the members thus they do not maintain secrecy in the cooperative society third demerit is government control as i earlier told you government always provide financial support to the cooperative society thus sometimes it also interfere in the working of the cooperative society cooperative society have a comply with the several rules and regulation related to auditing of account submission of account etc it means in the cooperative society accounts are prepared as per the government instruction sometimes government officials interfere in the working of the cooperative society fourth demerit is difference in opinion in cooperative society many members come different from different different backgrounds they have different opinion if there is different opinion there is chance of conflict among the members now next is inefficient management inefficient management means to say cooperative society are unable to attract and employ expert managers because of their inability to pay them high salary as i earlier told you told you in cooperative society we have lack of capital due to lack of lack of capital cooperative society cannot employ professionals because professional charge very high salary and cooperative society is unable to pay them higher salary thus the staff of the cooperative society is inefficient you can click on this link to check the cooperative society how the cooperative society work in the real life if you have any doubt in this video you can text me on my whatsapp number please type this link on the google and see how the cooperative society work in the real life situations thank you very much